Hey. Hello all. My name is Annika Osterlund. Yep. Your favorite YouTuber. First video I filmed in my new dorm where I'm just sitting down, chatting, and it's almost November. I'm your favorite YouTuber because I post consistently. Today I'm going to be doing just a fun little video. I thought... I thought we could just sit down and chat, have some fun, and paint while we're at it. Yep. This year has been a whirlwind for me. A whirlwind of anxiety, emotions, self-hatred. But that's okay because I've started going to the gym and playing Fortnite. Maybe the reason why I hate myself so much is because I've regressed into a teenage boy. Follow weekend soon. I want to show you guys my costume, but I don't feel like changing into it right now. Maybe I'll put a little picture of it right here. I only have two. I tell myself I'm gonna go out all three days and chances are I'm probably just gonna go out one day. So for my painting today, I really want to paint a dog peeing. That's kind of it. Dog peeing. Hmm. None of these guys have got it right. Okay, what about dog with hind leg up? No, not dogs in wheelchair. No, I don't need- my dog doesn't have issues lifting his hind leg up. I just- not leg paralysis in dog. Am I missing something here? Guys, I'm getting frustrated and I don't want to film this video anymore. I just need one image of a dog peeing, but people clearly don't like to take pictures of dogs peeing and I don't see why. No, not dog pooping. That's weird. So I'm taking my canvas from five below and I'm gonna sketch this dog peeing. Dog side profile. This changes the game. So his head is like that. And then there's a little, I never understood it when artists did that. That just, this always confuses me. This does not help me conceptualize the anatomy. What is that? Trust the process. This leg, which we're gonna have go out, has a little belly. Why, ew, he, this looks like a Dr. Seuss abomination. I believe I've created a monster. It's, it, his legs are too long, I think. Dog mobility is weird because they're just shaped so odd. I'm gonna do a nice little peacock blue, my 99 cent paint, which if you watched my last vlog, I love this paint. It's from Michael's, it's 99 cents, and that's why I love it. I thought we could just chat. I don't know, I feel like I do a lot of vlogs, but maybe Maybe you guys don't know that much about me. Um, let's see. I like coffee. My dad is dead. I go to NYU. See, these are things you probably already knew. My favorite animal is actually a dog. And now you might say, Annika, that's really fucking boring. To which I would respond, yes, I know. However, I would like to rebut your argument that it is boring, but I love dogs and dogs are an animal, so why would dogs not be my favorite animal? People who are like, my favorite animal is a giraffe. Like, I get it. I love giraffes. I think they're really cute, but it's like, I don't spend my free time cuddling up with a giraffe. Now do I? I'm very much a dog person. I'm all right with cats and they're growing on me. I used to absolutely hate them, but my best friend just got a cat and I really like her cat So I'm open to the possibility of enjoying cats company. My favorite color is the color red sexy Passionate bold my favorite foods are pasta in any form. I really like sushi Particularly like a spicy salmon roll. I love that. I love shrimp tempura. I'm a vegetarian, but I'm a pescatarian So I eat fish. <laughs> they don't eat meat. I've been vegetarian since the seventh grade. I major in communications We're just speed running all of them I'm minoring in the business of entertainment and media I uh, have a lovely boyfriend <gasps> named Nick, whom I met at NYU. I'm a Pisces. I have bad anxiety. I also like have this thing when something's really important to me, I procrastinate it. I put a lot of pressure on myself when I know something's important and then it just makes me not do it at all. And so I have a hard time posting YouTube videos because I love making YouTube videos. Like, don't get it twisted. I've been doing it for a long time. I put so much pressure on myself. Every time I post a video, it needs to be great. It needs to be perfect. It needs to blow up, whatever. I need to just be able to just post a video, you know, not that it's half-assed, but like, I don't think this video is gonna blow up. I like sitting in front of a camera and I like talking, so I don't know why I don't just do that more. I don't know. I love doing vlogs though. Don't get it twisted. Vlogs are probably like my favorite videos to film. I think they're so much fun. They're so fun to edit too. So that's why I do so many vlogs, and I don't really do that many, like, concept videos. I hate olives. And yeah, that's everything you need to know about me. I have a lot of hobbies. I like to start things and then never finish them. That's one of my specialties, actually. I like to consider myself a jack-of-all-trades, but a master of none, like Aziz Ansari, but without the sexual assault allegations. Yeah, I love just doing things. 
I worked retail over the summer and it was bad. I shot the bed my freshman year of high school and I just said that on the internet. I'm trying to think of other things to talk about. I used to do these makeup videos where I would just do my makeup and just talk. I don't know how I did that. So Hollow Weekend's coming up, right? Midterms just ended. It's kind of funny that Hollow Weekend pulls up right when midterms end. However, at NYU, there's this funny phenomenon. Maybe this is at college, but the second something is done, something else gets assigned. So even though midterms are over, I still very much have projects and essays and work to do. That's really stressing me out because usually the weekend is like prime time to get work done, but I feel like I'm going to be out of commission this weekend. I think that I'm not going to be available for thought. Ah, the voices. The show of my life has been rather uneventful recently. Last year it was like so interesting. Like my dad died, I got a new boyfriend. My entire life was just turned upside down and this year you're like, oh, we've had enough. I like not having drama in my life. Listen, I'm only human and I like entertainment. That's why I like it when people around me are experiencing drama, but I don't have to deal with it. I can just hear what's going on. So you could call me a pot stirrer, but not so much so that that would involve me in the drama. Just more like I'm just trying to get information. I've kind of been in my self-help, self-care era, been painting and going to the gym and playing Fortnite, the three big things you need to have a happy, healthy life. We're just painting around the dog for now, so it's easier to paint. We'll have to make some adjustments when we go in to paint the dog. I swear I'm normally a little bit better painting I just I think you guys you're you're just staring at me and that's putting a lot of pressure on me if you could look away how do I fix you why do you look so stupid dogs are just like shaped weird like their legs are weird and most animals are actually they're kind of shaped weird honestly humans are kind of shaped weird too I'm just gonna stick to drawing squares and circles because those aren't shaped weird they're kind of just shapes my professor in one of my classes like we asked him what his hobbies were and he said he likes to paint dogs peeing I thought that was a really weird niche so when you ask what the, your hobbies are who responds painting dogs peeing not even painting dogs Painting dogs peeing. Okay, this is what we're working with. Now, I want this dog to be a cute little mocha color. I'll mix these two, mocha and golden brown. I swear I'm actually like okay at painting. I don't know what is going on with me right now. Like this is embarrassing. Sometimes we need to be humble. So I got banned on TikTok. It was really scary. In my last video, I actually still banned on TikTok, but I got it back. And I wasn't too pressed about it because I think deep down in my heart, I knew I was gonna get it back. I was just like, there's absolutely no way that God would first take my father from me and then take my TikTok account because I don't even know which is worse. I mean, I've had that TikTok account since it was Musical.ly. It has all my Musical.ly's on it. I was big on Musical.ly. I remember I got acrylic nails, like in part because I thought they looked cool, but also because all the musical had acrylic nails and I was convinced it like made their hand movements look cleaner. My hypothesis turned out to be true because... My hand movements did look cleaner. I don't get a close anymore because I was like, damn! I was spending so much money every month on acrylic nails and now that I'm addicted to nicotine, I can't be spending money on both things. So obviously I'm gonna pick the one that's worse for me. No! His foot is so big! Let me know if you guys want me to do a Fortnite video. After just a long, hard day of getting stepped on by the patriarchy, it's nice to just kind of murk some bitches. It looks like, like a dummy dog. It's because he doesn't have a little ear. Okay, the ear will change everything. Guys, trust the process. It's like, you're right now you're like, what the fuck? But at the end you're gonna be like, what the fuck? And then you're gonna wanna buy this piece. Maybe I'll do a video trying to sell one of my paintings on eBay for $100. I've always been curious. In my time as a professional artist, I've learned that you only need two things in order to make your art look good, and that is clean lines and opacity. In my time off camera, that is just what I did right transform you don't even recognize it anymore i actually do think it looks a lot better i did think i fixed the neck somehow when i was going over it once i add my little my little black outline i think i think she's gonna slay so let's let her dry for a minute and then we'll go into the scariest part which objectively the scariest part is the outlining because it, it's like eyeliner basically for you beauty gurus out there it can go so wrong so fast and it can either make or break the entire thing i'm also scared because i have to like re-outline the leg muscles and everything this is terrifying i can't embarrass myself on video that would suck this is so important that i'm gonna tilt the camera down for you this is an important moment this makes or breaks the entire video i'm gonna start with the nose that's that's tame right i can do that nose boom the nose looks weird okay maybe i should pull up my dog reference photo there okay 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 that's fine that's okay. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely destroying that. That one is my best paw, so really want to highlight that. Oh my god, guys. It's make it or break it time. Now the peace stream. Oh my god. I did it. I did it. Oh my god, he looks a little janky, but like, I did it. Now I just need to do the facial expression. I don't know if I should do like a closed eye, like an arch, or just a dot. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a dot. And that, my friends, 
is my painting. On a scale of 1 to 10, I mean above average. It's better than I was expecting it to. I was working under pressure. You were staring right at me, breathing down my neck. In the future, maybe I'll draw a little fire hydrant here. Oh, he needs a little collar. I want to risk it and give him a collar. I feel like it would look cute with a little red collar now. That's a project for another day. I'll show you guys what it looks like when the collar's on. I have such a big headache and this ring light is really not helping. Whenever I close my eyes, the ring light's there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being patient, waiting around. I have another video coming out with a brand, another little sponsorship moment. I'm gonna have a week in my life up in a week or two, so stay put for that. In the meantime, you can follow my OG TikTok account now at Big Fish Energy. And feel free to follow my Instagram. One of my posts just recently got on the Explore page, so. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Thanks for watching. Bye.